<laughs> Alfred, what did they call that stuff? Oh, that's you know, sick. When, so the bean W's and Porsches oh. had it. Kyle, it's yeah. We gotta wow. figure out, out for the remote oil filter. Yeah. So yeah, I figured there was just, gonna be quite a few things to kind of yeah. once I got it, see what was here, and then go how I'm replacing some stuff. Yeah, I told Colin we but we got. Uh, I'll hey, show you when don't look at the front bumper. <laughs> No oh, shit, you got a hawk. Oh, cool. I leave that thing in there. That's crazy. Yeah, it's still in the grill. Yeah, a hawk's all folded up, all looking at us. He's like, oh, goddamn. Yeah. Oh, man. Crazy. It was just, it was just on this road, and then I heard it. I was like, what the hell was that? Oh, that's great. That's hilarious. Alright, cool. Well then, uh, this will be easy to get off. Let me see if, um... Tase it. I'm not gonna tase a bird. Tase the bird! I'll tase you. No, no. change my balls. <laughs> He's into that. <laughs> that is oh, He's into that. Get two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, that tranny looks a little bit bigger, huh? Oh, yeah, it's significantly longer. I'm hoping. Uh, That's a Jeremy. We're going to have to push the motor quite a bit more forward, so then uh, mm -hmm. the rear drive line was only this long to begin yeah. with. So, like, what is it going to be? Coupler to coupler? So, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, that's crazy. There's going to be a few things that I'm questioning here. Yeah. This won't but, be as easy as just Chandi. <laughs> yeah. The the first part of the Chandi was the easiest part. Oh, yeah. Uh, somebody said, what are you, like 50% because you took the motor out? And I'm like, no, we're 10% because the motor's out. Um, so let's see. Probably want to turn that side. Trying to get. I'm going to come in with the forklift. Yeah. And lift it here and here, and then try to come over and then set that down or whatever. So. Yeah. Try to get Colin to uh, use his uh, taser on the bird. Man, uh, wake up! <laughs> wake up! <laughs> Perform. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you doing over there? Yeah.
forks up. Yeah, yeah, forks up. You got a license to operate that thing? I got a license to kill me. That's <laughs> all. What? You want what did you want me to reference Die Hard instead? I would. I'll cover you. I'll see what my killing a band damn crap guy. So it's good I'm so No, you're all going to hell again. I'm like Steven Seagal. I'm like eee! stuff right now after we're doing stuff no after when we're doing stuff you gotta wait I'm into weird things okay you're into weird things you don't want to get shocked no I, I'm not into that <laughs>
what have you done, sir? Um, we just well, actually, yesterday we cleared out the rest of the hole. Um, AC condenser, uh, lines for oil and uh, trans cooler. Oh, just pretty much blood or dry. Now, yeah, now it's not just dry, dry. Now. Yeah. They like somehow now she's gonna sit up there right up in there. Yeah. Well, I can't even say hopefully. I see it going in on it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've they've done it. They've actually got yeah. it now to fit, and they made their mounts, but they're they're Chondi mounts. I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah, no, super Chondi. No, it was, it was not. <laughs> So this is this is the chance to to get the yeah step up and uh, exactly which would be cool. I would like to. I definitely yeah wouldn't get mine being known. Then all of a sudden you're the master delicatessen. Fucking, yeah. You're like I know how to fucking put these in no problem. I'm the fucking the master engine swapper for the delicates. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's one of those projects where it's like you you'd be down to just jump in and do it no matter what. Yeah, and say so like as soon as I seen this shit I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna have fun. Yeah. And it has been this whole time. Sideways, oh, yeah. like boys in the days, cause we're sitting sideways like boys in the days. As Paul Wall, I'm the people's champ. A lot Saggy of baggy. Like a new good year lamp. I got that grill and I'm still hitting the beats like I'm yeah. daddy from the, the streets. Cause I got done. fucking yeah, lean on my meat. Okay. So the bar does work. <laughs> and Chop Chandy. Chop. Cut Chandy. Action. Action. Alright. All right, giggity, 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 yeah. Hey, check out my new hat.
we match. It's Rick and Morty, and it's Rick, and I'm not Morty, but it's Rick and Rick, and it's not like Dick, because my name ain't Richard, and I smoke a backwoods like a fucking Mac should, and I got a new hat, and Rick is smoking a backwood on my hat, because he's a Mac, and I'm smoking a backwood with my backwoods hat, because I'm a fucking name? Mac. My yeah, name's Rick. Trust I get doing that. What's your name? My name's Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, so anyway, um, Colin, what the fuck are we working on? This is a 1993 Mitsubishi Delica. See, that's what I do when I want the information. <laughs> Colin, what the fuck are we working on? You said it, all right, back to me. <laughs> all right, you guys, so we're working on this 1993 Mitsubishi Delica, right-hand drive, JDM import. We are taking out that old Hyundai clapped out diesel motor that was in here. They had an overrun, sucked all the oil straight out of the PCB system into the motor, and it said, I ain't shutting off, bud. I'm gonna have a bad day today. Rattle clap, rattle clap, and that was the end of that. So now, we're getting this brand new Cummins R2.8 swapped into this thing. Super badass setup. A lot of people are using these for four-wheel drive swaps, whether it's from a Scout, a Bronco, or now even this 1993 Mitsubishi Delica. So. Attached to this Cummins R2.8, we've got a Chrysler automatic full electronic 8-speed transmission and a Chrysler NP241 transfer case. We're going to be getting this installed, setting up all the brackets for the new motor mounts and transmission mounts. But first, before we could get any of this assembled, we had to get a hold of Axis Industries. They made all the custom adapter plates for the transmission to the motor and for the transfer case to the transmission. They also gave us all the wiring harnesses, ECU, to make this thing a full plug and play setup. So I can't wait to get this started because some of the most badass things to come are gonna be our TIG welded intake pipes for all the intercooler setups, all the stainless steel exhaust, and of course, all of the new transmission uh, motor mount cross members. So wait till you see this thing installed. By the end of the day, we should have it hanging in place for you guys to see how well this fits inside of that tiny off-road monster. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? You just gotta undo it from these two. And it separates. Need to, would we need to go a little bit more for this? 
you know, and if they're working at scripts, they need to be making more money for yep, what they're doing. Bit more. So tied, yeah. And if you're not going to offer that money, yeah. then you're not going to get oh, And it turns it on. Yeah, just let me know. Which way? Left? Yep. Yeah. More? So yeah. I'm going to, um, I, I wish you had the, the name and number of yeah. the guy in Yes, car. That's that. So the whole thing needs to shift over that way, maybe a fucking half an inch. That's drive line now. Oh yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, ass in that way. Yeah, this fucking motor is almost ready for you, Chan. This guy, all he does in the background is just talk on the phone. He talks on the phone. This guy right there just talks all the time on the phone in the background. He's actually in line with the motor mounts, and that is fucking 10 inches back. And so that's why that guy made those hood mounts that went all the way forward because the motor mounts are actually like this far away from that fucking bar. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why don't you just fucking mount it right off this other plate that we have? So, cause there's another fucking plate right here. And the motor mounts are right there. Uh, and so if we just put the plate to where it holds on right here on this thing. Uh, well, uh, yeah, underneath this, in between oh, this, right? Make a plate. So yeah, you just put the plate right there, come up here to our fucking motor mounts, okay. have our motor mount right there, and it literally just slips up and goes there, and then you slide that on. And bolts oh, everything yeah. up. Right and the motor mounts hold oh, on by the suspension. You already got me super strong. Cool. And it's way less chunky of a stupid yeah. bracket. So, um, I just gotta go get the uh, dial indicator real quick. Or the, uh, Everything's been pretty good, though? After some, some fucking tweaks and shit and dropping some more stuff, like, yeah, no, it's like a glove with a little bit extra space. It's looking good. Uh, what about your bottle? Well, I I don't know, I got a fucking Chandi thing around here, I just don't know where the fucking jackass put it. Chandi thing. Bagel. Oh, a Chandi bagel? Bagel. It's uh, right there in the bag. Chandi bagel. Dry Chandi bagel. They're making shitty pizza bagels lately. Where are the fucking olives? Slacking. Where's the cheese? That's like a, that looks like an Asiago, not a fucking pizza. There, there's no pizza on that. It's anti-pizza. I right know. <laughs> that fucking thing is heavy. Oh God! You do the space in the back of you. <coughs> mm -hmm. Like all that. Oh, it is a little bit because of um. It's a little farther forward. Because the engine yeah. transmission, it's fucking eight inches longer. So we had to come forward eight more inches just to give you all the that drive. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a piece of wood? Yeah. I just did the same fucking thing. What's up, dog? Same fucking thing. This is how you get in relax mode. I'm just chilling now. I'm just hanging out. You gotta become. You don't. You don't know that the door is holding me from falling backwards, <laughs> dog. This is how we do it. Gang, gang. No more lock doors! Come set my door! We're filming. We're bracket making. Now it's arch and crafts time, boys. I can't see anything. This is when you go. Somebody please sponsor us with the 3D scanner so we don't have to fucking sit here like tort children. I don't know about 3D scanning this shit.
No, I lost the tip. Oh, you fucking... Oh, you fucking... Oh, there's your tip. There's your marker. Oh, my shit back together. I lost the tip. Just the tip, Moon. Righty, righty, all righty. So how do you get the suspension up here with the motor mount when it's all at once? Huh? How do you get the suspension up here if the suspension if the motor's not mounted, I guess the top mount of the motor. The top mount, mount is really what's going to hold it for the temporary, you know what I mean, until you get the motor put on. Okay. The only person allowed to be a diva around here is nobody. Sandy pen. Honestly, I think we can do this without the scissors. Bottom fucking. What's the progress so far on this truck? What? Can you see the dip? Um. Dip. What about it? The progress on this is we're getting some brackets. Uh, we're getting some brackets made up for the trans mount, for the motor mounts, and we're trying to position the motor so that the covers under the seat can still mount. Right there. So we're trying to get it as high as we can without being too high. Can't really tell if it's for space. At least a half an inch. For inch, yeah, half an inch? No, no, no. Hang on. I'm talking to TJ. Get your hand over it. Not in some areas like. <coughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah, there you go. And so, like, Just that. enough to get your fingers to roll underneath it. Yeah. Like, it's going to be tight in some areas, but like. More than less. Like, yeah. <sighs> Oh, 
Yeah, we have me pass, I guess. Uh, no. No. Is that one like is it getting in your face at this This direction. <laughs> well, there, well, there's no fucking. I, every time I say driver, it's the wrong fucking side. So that fucking American driver, um, by uh, like we're talking, dude, just, like just a smidgen, sixteenth of an inch. I just need to fucking. Uh, motor's just not quite square. Okay, right there. Okay. Now the motor's square. We got enough fucking hand space in there. When you pull up on that fucking handle, does anything stupid happen? No, because technically that fucking brake cable would just loop through here. And that brake cable has room to loop through there. I could make that fucking yeah. Most likely, I could just pull it. Yeah, I can make it work. Okay. I can make that work. On say. This is gonna be fine. It's, it's right here. In fact, let me just. Go ahead and do it. to the uh, American driver. Yep, right there. Okay, so. All right, we still good? Does that fuck us up some more? Uh, well, the time to be back there. It's a little tight right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. How is it setting now? Mine's going to there too, if you need it. Uh, I think I'm going to have Maybe. Well, there's, yeah, there's check the welder, otherwise there's... You don't want it. There's a bone of light here. Oh, you're talking about the sheet metal, just a tiny bit right there? Okay, yeah. Fuck that shit, you know? Yep, that's fine. Like, I'm just thinking fucking... Easiest way possible, fucking. Like, yeah, just a little taparoo right there. Yeah. Tight quarters? Yeah. It's a Cummins? Yeah. Like a full Cummins, big boy? Uh, no. What is it? Not the one out of a truck? Yeah, it's uh, just a tiny little fucker. That's the new R2 for you. Rick, what are they calling for for uh, drive line angle? Is that going to be shit spraying out? Are you kidding me? I know, right? What, what are they calling for for a drive line angle? You think this has been done before? No, the, the rear, like, what's stock when they're on? Oh, what's stock? Well, fuck, it's at 21 degrees right now, bro. I know, that's why I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, just let it ride until we get it on the ground. I set the motor at fucking 4 degrees. That's where we're trying to stay, right? You set it at 4? Yeah, I set it at 4. I was just checking to make sure we were still there. Yeah, 3. Close enough. Huh? Right. 
well somewhere for that little bracket. That we'll probably pull through. Fuck! The rear ends at about 16. That's not crazy bad. We can shim it down. That's its full drift. Yeah, on leaf screen. Completely different. It'll go into like 10 by the time that we're done. We're working. What the fuck do you want? He just wants to weld one thing real quick. Yeah. Just pull the yeah. pull the cords out. Well, he's under. I didn't want. We'll pull it around the end. What? Thank you. The fuck do you want? This mat. We're fucking working right now. What do you want from me? Don't expect my car. Right? And then you leave your fucking go kart in the middle of my fucking shop. I know. And then you don't show up until fucking three. I know. When you get off work. You said five, so I'm here early. Two days later. <laughs> hey, you said I could come back. Two days later. <laughs> so the only person it's in my in the way of is me, so I don't really care. That's what I figured too. Works good, son. I just got spooky juice. Stop there where he works. With the welder. I'm oh, just kidding. I was using my safety squints. Ooh, that shit's fucking smelly. I'll cut Start a bend sooner. This drive line's right there. So I'm gonna come straight down so it'll work this way. Oh fuck. Go all the way under the we have to. The drive line's right here. If we go out, I can't sneak it next to the drive line. That'd be fucking ridiculous. And any twist we get would be dragging drive line. So if we come down, is what I'm saying. Go down, yeah. 90, this way, and now. Oh, yeah. That's pretty crazy, but if we, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to get the drive line in, probably. Yeah, uh, maybe. 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 I, you're doing fine. So if I come here, I'm going to drop to about here. You know. Yeah, tie it in. Yeah, pile it. You might have to drill those holes. Drill. <coughs> it's over there with that. Okay, so they go to this fucking little soil. No. No, they go to. I could pull them off, and I'll just remember. There is this. Yeah, something's hooked on down here is where they route to, and but they hook to something that's right here, but simple fucking... Oh, 
Sean Hook. What's going on with it? Several different things. Me and his food nation. Talk to the kids. Uh, he's like, Meh. go get food. We're just, we're getting angry. Yeah. That's what's happening. We're getting hangry. Hangry? We're right. fucking, what do you want? We're dealing with dumb shit. And we're like, all right, we need to eat. We're getting angry. Are you, you, you didn't yeah. Even yeah. Even yeah, what do you want? Yeah, I did. Okay. No, there's a lot of things like the studio over there. We need to do more stuff. We need to do more stuff. It deserves a Hey, Spoofy, what are you doing? What am I doing? Don't use the bolts he told you not to use. What's your problem? The bolt? What? It's not for this thing. Don't have no weird ass latch, right? No. No. Okay. No, because. Um, oh wait, I think that might be parking brake. No parking brake. No, but there, I think there might be. Where is that? zip tie wiring harnesses back to the old wiring harnesses. One thing that we definitely like to do here is de-loom all the original wiring harness and when we put the new wiring harness for the engine back into this thing, we'll make it to where it's a singular harness and everything from the body control modules, the air conditioning, the brake lights, turn signals, hazard lights, you know, whatever it might be that's extra on the vehicle besides the actual engine is going to get reintegrated back into the wiring harness. Instead of leaving all that old shit that controls the motor in place, we'll get it all de-loomed, re -loomed the wiring harness, and then get all this wrapped back in. So when this motor's installed, it'll actually be integrated back into this car like it was meant to be in the car, not like it's something that was added to the car. So, oh, shit. TJ knows all about it. He's learning all about the... All right, I'm about to hand this to you. Are you? Oh, oh, maybe. He's like, that bitch is heavy. Yeah, be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's just fucking tight in here. Where my right. tin mill at, though, bitch? It's underneath the water bottle. Oh, you're a fucking whore. I don't want it. It's hey, uh... Goddamn tin went. That's crazy. So, uh, is it making sense why it's taking forever for everybody else to do this, or is it not not um, really is it that making hard? sense? No, it's uh, difficult, but it it's a good difficult. thing that we know what the fuck we're doing. Because, well, yeah, no, for sure. That's what I'm. Yeah, I mean, like, definitely, this is not something. Like, as how, I'm getting this into. Ain't it. a beginner swap. No, this is like this dropping is a not fucking a B series swap. in an old city. Well, so he was doing a bunch of research, and he was saying that like, there's how many people, like three or four, like major guys doing it, right, but they haven't guys. completed it yet. So we would be the Shawnees to just like come in out of left field and complete this and be the oh, first. Oh, they have even completed these things yet? No. This is going to be, if we do this like right now this week, this it's going to be the Chandi. first Chandi ever. And and like five Chandis are trying to do it right now. And for, I mean, for like the last bro, like 10 years. People are going to pick up their vehicles and just be like, no, nah, we got to go over here and see them. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, that's I don't know good. where I went wrong, but... <laughs> That's the thing. I don't even know if I want to mess with your Chandy ass messes and shit. Fuck. You should have just brought it here in the fucking first place. Yeah, no half starter Chandy's here. Yeah, no half starters. Nah, fuck that. Even though, mm mm. <laughs> the only thing that I'll let you half start is get the motor out. <laughs> you can do that for me. And, no, I don't even touch the wiring because I need specific shit in there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, don't, don't. Later. I mean, is it the only wire that I can't disconnect in the whole car? Let me see if I could just pop this thing back and make sure that it is, but like, I'm pretty positive that that's what it is. I really don't feel like taking this a lot of fucking, please just let me. There you go. Mm. All right, you're done. You think that we're gonna get a lot of calls for these swaps? Hopefully. Yeah. It's under the car. No, it's under the tray. Oh, it's probably There's right like here. There's a little lip. Metal lip. Right. There's a little lip. On. There. Are, oh. I see it too. I see it. Yeah, I see it. I see you now, motherfucker. Yeah, I see it. Mr. Rick. Yeah. We're gonna have to talk about these dimensions you gave me. I'm fucking telling you, bro. We're gonna have to talk about these dimensions you gave me. You're the one who brought the car in here. I'm telling you where it's gonna fit. And if you tell me I can't access that shit, I'm gonna tell you, well then it sounds like Jesse's gonna learn how to make fucking radiators and intercoolers real quick. <laughs> What you got? Same words. Uh, AC condenser. Um, 17 by 19. Is like some of the smallest sizes they have. So angle mount, do some weird stuff. You, you sitting there and talking to me about it is not going to help. We're going to have to sit down. Um, radiators. Well, I'm, I'm up here working, asshole. Okay, radiators. <laughs> so like, you can't even get close for those dimensions, not with the inlet and outlet sizes. Um... We're gonna figure out our packaging. We're gonna have to angle mount everything. What is not even close to a radiator? I told you 20 by 20. Uh huh. What's not even close? I have to go back and look what I've got on the computer. They're just trying to find one of those dimensions is difficult. Um, the one that I did find was a Twelve hundred dollars and four months out. So ten days. Yeah. So looks like yeah. work on your numbers. Work on your numbers. Four months out and twelve hundred dollars. Those are horrible numbers. I didn't make it. Fucking terrible. Those are terrible numbers. Your numbers suck, Colin. <laughs> it included right. a fan and a shroud. Great. What about that guy there one for the... Um, okay, no problem, man. Obviously, it doesn't look like I'm as scared as you are from your face. I found a tiny little air cooler. But it's got the outlets here. But we can always cut and roll them. Uh, uh, where? Um, on the front side? Side outlets? Of... It's real tall. It's like tall and narrow with outlets here. Inlets and outlets here. Could fit. That's plausible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, That's in stock. <laughs> All right, well, then I'm going to eat this burrito, and then I guess I'll walk in there and I'll look at a couple of those things with you and see what we can figure out. I know that this is going to be fucking hard. The, radio, the, the reason why I was getting into those dimensions is because I'm trying to figure out where to run fucking intercooler piping. And I need three inches on either side of the radiator, or I need three inches on top, or I, I need, you know. I was, I was you reading know. a write-up where some dude did an air of water behind the engine, but it wasn't efficient enough. It was running 200 and... 15 degree intake intake temps fucking chandy yeah. no good here bud he put a so then he converted it to an air to air and it dropped the degree, the temperature by 100 degrees yeah um okay well as we were just talking about you know there's three people who began this swap and three people who haven't finished this swap yet even the chandy guy at Starfucker nation he hasn't even finished his shit. Starfucker. He's, he's still in fucking write-up mode. And and I looked at his forum, and his forum's three years old. And so then I laughed because if we can actually accomplish this in ten days, we're fucking badasses. And then I also laughed because I went, well, yeah, everybody started this project, but not one fucking soul has finished this project. So it's it's this is not like a, a swap a fucking 383 into a fucking... Uh, dodge dart situation. This is like, let's fit a fucking uh, V12 quad turbo into a Miata. And that's what this is like. Look, I was thinking Volkswagen, but it's been done in the Supra. Yeah. <laughs>
So I'm going to eat this burrito so I can get my brain functioning again because it's low functioning at the moment. All right. So we got okay. to drive. Wait. Hold, hold on. All right. Action. All right. We got the passenger side mount since it's a Japanese right hand drive going in here. It's only tacked up right now, and then we're going to add more gussets from side to side. And yeah, I'm about to put it up in here. I just got done drilling through the frame, and I found out the frame is double walled, very thick, and I had to use a right hand drill. So that'll be the funnest part of this whole installation for anyone who wants to buy these mounts to install their motor. So yeah, good stuff. Slides right up in here though. And grab a washer. Can you see? Here, give it a little quick view. So yeah, there's that. A little hard to see, but yep, there's that. Okay. And then there will be a sandwich plate on the outside, so the frame can't collapse. Not that it should collapse. Double layered. Very thick. That gold oh my wheel. God, Pat. What about my gold wheel? That gold wheel that's on your car, do you have any more of those? Oh, the BMW? Well, no, that was the only one. It came with the car. I had to get a different wheel to put it. He just likes the gold wheel, that's all. I just like hitting trees in the dark. I'm going to drive an hour away to see if these guys try and rob me. See ya. Good luck. Hee <laughs> hee. But yeah, you guys will basically just take this bracket, bolt it onto your factory motor, motor mount, and then it's going to line right up on the frame. You'll mark your holes. Probably do that on both sides, mark your holes, and the easiest way to do it would be to re pull your motor out. It's kind of a pain, I don't know how hard it was for them to get it in here. But if you do that, then you'll be able to get in here with a normal drill, which would be a lot easier than doing it like I did in this fucking pinned little hole. But yeah, that's that. We're coming up with uh, best ways to mount the back of the T-case. Um, the original mounts are rubber isolated. We're going to use a GM mount, but it's well below the pan. We don't like that setup. And the one person that we saw starting to set this up and had some pictures ran the tube down below the transfer case. But it gets really close to the drive line, and again, it's really low. So we're trying to figure out how we can make it look best with doing an overhead carrier like the original design and have it actually hang rather than having stuff underneath here. Yeah, and then we can do another one of these brackets but extend it just below this for our skid pan. Yeah, exactly, because we just have to have something to mount on the skid pan. Yeah. yeah.
fire while I'm grinding tonight. Stupid shame! <laughs> yeah, I'm from Nashville. No, no, no. I'm from the real Nashville. Wait, like this? Nope. Like that. And then, and then right to the end of the rest. Oh, fuck yeah. We could literally hang this thing on its own way right now. No, I know, but I don't want to do that. I want to check it out while they let the fucking wall go out. these trundle mounts and the motor hard doing it hard not hard mounts because they got one but I'm gonna do it so hard on the end and I needed to do something like that trundicious That kit looks pretty sturdy. The kit? Yeah. The the brace, the, the mounts that you made. Oh the the that Rick's welding in right now? Yeah, Rick wanted to weld it. He doesn't get to weld very often. He wants to practice. Yeah. Get his roll cage. Get the roll cage in. He wants to get it dialed. Have some dime dime will be tunas.